also doing ceramics for villas and hotels with the pictures of Greeks, like Lillian Brenz of Knossos. It is a fresco from Knossos. This is the double X, the symbol of the island of Crete. This is the daughters of Knossos in the Queen Room. And this is designed from the Minoian Palace in the Queen Room, Rosette. I can explain you the secrets, the information of how I do it. Also I paint Also I paint the black and white vases here. I mix the white color with uh, a stone, powder of stone. Like this, it is a stone, powder of stone. So I make a special kind of filling for this. And then I put the vases on the wheel. There, I can show you how I do it. I put the vase on the wheel. I try to paint this one here, so I must put it in the middle. This is the way I do. I push it a little bit. And when I put it in the center, I put black color. I make this line here, the first and the second, like this, and this like this. And then I take another brush, like this, I put it in the black color and I make this one here, with black color. And then I do this work here with black color, then I make this line here, and this line here, and then I take something else like this brush a lot of water and a little black color inside and I make this one here, a lot of water and that. If I want to paint now the next, first I make the lines black color and the line like this. I take the help of my finger here, so without to move my hand I make this line here. And then this line here. If I want to make this one here, I take a pencil like this and I try to find between here and here where is the center and I make a line with a pencil. You cannot see now because I got it off. And then from here till here I find the middle which is here and I make a line here and then from here till here the line. Exactly I do work like this. Here you can see the same design with the lines of the pencil inside. So when I do the work with a pencil at first, because I must use later the black color here without make mistakes. On the vase, later on I take a pencil and I make lines here like this, one line. But first I have to put it in the center. It depends where I have to put the line. And I make lines like this, the second, the third, and I make squares. Every two squares, I make the signal because the line is like this, it is exact. So I know where is this one, this one, this one, and I make this. So it looks symmetric. And later on when I do this one, I take something like this and I take off the lines. So you cannot see the lines, but you can see the lines here. This is not finished. This is finished here. And this it will be later like this. Now, if I want to make it look like old, I have this glass here. On this glass, I put white color without water. It is like yogurt, the color. Also, here, I put a little stone. This is uh, uh, galazias, we call it. Galazias is the name of the stone. White stone, powder of stone. I mix white color with stone without water, and I take color here. When it has a color, I take with a paper the color off, so the color is only inside and not outside. So with the color, I put the brush here and very soft touch and I try to paint the stone which is inside. So if you put your finger here, you can feel painted stones in white color, but not the black painted white. That's the difficulties. The same I do here. If I want to paint on the white color the stone which are deep inside, I take black color without water and I take the black color like this, I take the black color off and then with a little touch I try to paint the stones. So this vase is finished, looks like this, the work is unique. The black and white color I paint on my vases are not existing in any shop because the businessman they don't want black and white. And the design, I found it in a, a book 
because our story, <coughs> if you will see our story, there are pictures from somewhere, and uh, some of the pictures here. Maybe I will find. Let's <coughs> go. These are the dolphins I showed you before, which it was painted on my vase, on my vase. And this is the queen room, and this is the design of the rosette. I have painted around my shop, like the Palace of Knossos. Outside of my shop is painted the design of the outside place. Yes. Uh, I don't find the picture here which I want to show you. But anyway, this design is uh, from the old people in Minoyan season. People, they have uh, dresses. And this is the material made with a loom, designed from Crete. It's not existing in the market. So this design is unique as a color. Every one I make, I have the idea in my mind without to see anything. It is unique, handmade work 100%. And I have some vases inside here, which I have painted. And you can see some of the vases I paint here. I start also with the same way, pencil, squares like this. And then I do the different design, but always with a pencil first. This is my signature, my name, my work, my information, if somebody they want to ask me, if somebody want to look at me. And after this work, I make collection of stones, because people like to have stones. For press papier, paper weight, I paint the lucky eye for the good luck. Here. I also paint here the olive tree, <coughs> because the olive oil on Crete, and because we have a lot of olive trees, is nearly full the island, who have the best quality olive oil in the world. And it means something else also. The first Olympian Games in Greece, when it started, they give it not gold money, not gold, not money, not something, but they give them this one for the head as a souvenir for the Olympians people. So, this is it, and here, <coughs> some stones here, I always paint without to see anything. This is a Lilian Prince of Knossos, fresco on the wall, and it is on my book I just showed you before. It is this picture here, this is varnished, this is not varnished, this is the same but it has a nice color stone. This, it has nice color stone, and I have painted some different ones. Everyone is different, never two exactly the same. And some stones here, I try to show the stone color inside in the body. And if you want something like this, just to see how it is, I can paint it as I did before. It's not finished, this one, but when I will finish, it will be like this. And varnished just about like this. Just about like this. The material is iron. Uh, the iron is uh, this material here. I use, we use scissor. If they use scissor, they use camera. And then together with electronic fire, it is painted after with colors, and it looks like, like this. And I'm very happy to say to the people, if they buy from my shop, they buy unique things, are not exist. The glass, if you want more information about the glass of Crete, I am not the artist of the glass, but I can give you information. It is the famous glass of Crete, and it's family made. It's not by factory. It's not by press. Exactly any glass of this here or here or all the glass you can see with your camera around here is made from two pieces. If you will put your finger here, you can take a feeling, two pieces. That it means the work which is on the glass, it is saved inside between two glasses. The colors that are here are colors made of stone, powder of stone. They go to a mountains, they find stones like uh, like this, they make it powder, and with uh, 
handmade technique, they put the powder on that. So this is very nice glass with the colors. It makes the glass see through. It looks like the sky, like the sunshine, like uh, the seaside. It makes the people happy because of the colors and of the work. After the work, because as we said, it's not factory made and it is not also press made, it is handmade, they have form. And at first the two glasses with the work inside is sitting on the form flat at first. And then the form with the glasses comes in the fire, in the electric heaven. The temperature is about 850 degrees, as they told me. And after one or two days, the glass is soft like honey. It takes the design of the form, so itself it takes a shape. This is the handmade work. It is double glass, it is double stroke, and you can feel it from the sound. It sounds like a bell from our church. It is very strong, not breakable very easy, so it doesn't scratch because the work is not on the back. You can use it for eating, for salad and for soup and for everything because the work is not on the top. And it is very strong for traveling. This is the art of Crete. It's very famous, it's different, it is handmade. And people like to buy things which is uh, useful, handmade and only from Crete. Ήρθε εάν θέλουν να αγοράζουν τώρα από την Κρήτη, να αγοράζουν ελληνικά, να αγοράζουν χειροποίητα, χρήσιμα και μοναδικά. Και αν θέλουν πληροφορίε, να του δώσουμε ευχαρίστω ό,τι πληροφορίε θελήσουν, το πώ φτιάχνονται, το πώ γίνονται, να έχουν πληροφορίε γιατί αγαπούν το είδο καλύτερα όταν ξέρουν την αρχή πώ γίνεται και πώ τελειώνει. Ευχαριστώ πολύ.